I'm in a dream, I'm in a dream I'm in a sweet dream In the clouds, head in the clouds Caught on the sunbeam I'm very excited about this record and I have absolutely no clue how the world's going to react to it. Like I, I put a lot into it and um, I think it's really good but it's the soundtrack of my own brain. It's like, does anybody else have the same soundtrack as I've got going through my brain? I have no idea. Um, I came up with a saying and that's, once it's out of my mouth, it's out of my hands. <laughs> I had been putting out singles for a couple of years now and I realized that um, to the, get to the next level, I really wanted to do an actual collection of songs to give more of a picture of what I'm about. And um, so I took about, there's about 20, 25 songs that I had to choose from. And um, I went through them and decided on some that to me sounded like they went together. And um, then I just, I recorded them, letting each song sort of tell me how it wanted to sound. So the songs each have different qualities. So uh, being a multi-instrumentalist, I could kind of do anything I wanted with each one. So um, that kind of led to the different sounds of each one. And in the album, there's a lot of difference between the more orchestral stuff, like um, if crying is a crime to something a little softer, like, um, Oh, hope came by today. So I did have a lot of fun with that. Uh, sort of almost like an early 70s singer-songwriter album where the producer kind of goes crazy and does whatever he wants. <laughs> I've always liked really short, sharp pop songs and um, almost 60s style, late 50s style, early 70s pop songs. And everything I do has that at, at its core, um, even though uh, like anything else, I like to fool around with a paradigm and change things up a bit. Um, but yeah, I realized that I really like writing and singing myself. I felt like I really needed to learn how to be a front man by myself, just play guitar and sing. And um, it was quite a, a big step from it's It's different from being in a band where you're surrounded by friends and you're one of five. And um, when you're on your own, it's like, whoa, if you stop, the music stops. So uh, it's been a fun challenge though. Piano is a lot of fun for writing songs because um, it opens up different sounds and different possibilities. It's funny, if you listen to old Beatles records, you can almost tell halfway through their career when they stopped writing on guitar and started writing on piano. Their songs just have a very different quality to them. And I think it has to do with being able to hear the left hand and different chord progressions come along. Um, when I play on piano too, I also make sure the melody exists. Like I write an actual written melody that I can, I can goof around with it when I'm singing, but I like to think there's something that could be written down on a piece of paper, like this is the melody of this song. Hope Came By Today was written in response to the pandemic in the um, spring of 20 when it seemed like, oh my gosh, no, it was the spring of 21. <laughs> it's been a long two years, hasn't it? And it was um, actually an assignment that a friend of mine who runs a literary magazine put out to all the contributors to write a song about hope. And uh, that was one of those nice songs that just came out in a morning. Sometimes they do and everything just falls into place. And um, Hope in my song turned into a girl who is, it's a little bit vague, but maybe she's the daughter of somebody I used to know. And um, the story gets into that a little bit. It's so easy nowadays to do recording in your own room. Um, in the old days, you really had to have everything prepared because to go into a recording studio cost a lot of money, especially if you weren't a major label band and you were paying for it yourself. So it's nice that uh, you can work things as long as you want, especially uh, vocals. I think 90% of bands that fail, it's because their vocals just aren't there. And um, it's great to be able to just keep at it till you have a good day and everything comes out the way you want it. Then you have to be able to do it live, which takes a lot of work. 
but um, it's just great not to have the stress. It's a little odd playing all the instruments because you don't get to play together. You have to lay things out one at a time. Um, but that can be a fun experience too. If you're, the, if you're the same musician playing every part, there's a certain sameness to it, a certain connection you have with your own way of playing. Um, to get technical, maybe a kick drum and a bass line being the same foot and the same fingers, if, even if it's a little sloppy, it, it tends to, to hang together. It's funny where inspiration comes from. I was thinking of Over Too Soon, which is a cool song about, um, it's kind of almost like an old fashioned love song of like, it was a hot affair, it burned bright, it's over. You know? um, but it really came around from my dog eating dinner. <laughs> I was like, oh, over too soon. Hey, that's a song. <laughs> so it's funny where inspiration can come from and it can go totally different places. Musicians, especially at my stage in life and career, we're really looking for fans that like us a lot. And there may not be that many of them, but we're looking for deep relationships with our fans um, and people who like our music as opposed to the TikTok hit, you know, where there could be thousands of them, but they're on to the next thing before the song's even done. Um, a tune that I don't know is one I like a lot. It's, um, it sounds like a joke title, but it's not. Um, we used to joke around because if you call the radio station and ask for it, they'll hang up on you. Can you play a tune that I don't know? Um, but it's really just the last line of the last, um, the last verse. And it's a really, to me, kind of moving song about just loneliness and, and promises, lives that didn't turn out the way you now wished they would have. And um, the guy in the song is kind of, he's forced to think about his life by a phone call from an old ex and he doesn't really want to, he doesn't want to like, be jarred out of his present. But um, it came out pretty well. I haven't been performing solo that long and when I started doing it, it was awful. I was like, my God, I can't even play a D chord. Like I can't, I mean, I'm a pretty good guitarist, but when you get up on stage, it's a whole different mindset and your brain, if you're not ready for it, it turns into a TV between channels and you can't think of words. You can't think where you are. You can't think of how to play a chord. It's, and it's scary. And the, the only way to get good at it is to do it. So, um, the other thing about performing though, that's odd and interesting is, and I've only, you know, gone up the scale halfway, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. There's nothing harder on earth for any performer than to do an open mic night. But, um, I played the Warfield for a sold out show when we opened for Chris Isaac and it was relatively easy because we knew our songs. Everybody knew our songs. They, they liked them. They were there for us. It was like um, so much easier when everybody's primed and ready to go. And so it's a very different energy. Um, but yeah, when you're just starting out, um, it takes a lot of gumption. And, uh, and the only way to do it is to do it. So yeah, I would say my advice to any performers, get up and perform. Even if it's busking, you know, play on the street. That's a great way to play. Sarah is my mom's name, but um, it really is not about her at all. I don't I'm think. She spells it without an H and I stuck an H on there just to make sure that I didn't think it was. Um, I have a feeling it's just one of those names that sounds great when you sing it. There's probably five Sarah songs out there from the Jefferson Starship to, you know, on down. Um, Sarah Smile, um, but that was a good song. I liked the way that came out. It was a little different, um, the lyrics for me, they're kind of noir. I was trying to tell a story more than I usually do. Um, I'm trying to learn with lyrics how to not lay it all out, to leave something for the imagination. Um, and that's how that tune came out. The song Feet First started with the fourth verse, which is the, it's a verse about a lady who's worried about losing her housing. And uh, the song was inspired by my dad, who um, 
He said, they're gonna drag me out of here feet first. That's how I'm going. He had uh, lived in a retirement community and he hated it. So he got himself a little house and moved in there, and, uh, moved out of the retirement home. And he said, yeah, I'm leaving this house feet first. And that was like, hey, there's a song. But by the time it was done, it had Adolf Hitler in it. It had Bonnie and Clyde. It's just strange the way lyrics can grow and, and change. Um, but feet first, that's the only way we're leaving. There's no drug as good as applause. There's nothing like it. And that's why people just come back to it and come back to it. It is um, the ultimate experience. Um, but also, on beyond that, playing, making music with people is really different from doing it on your own. Um, and I miss that. I miss, I love playing with Alan. There's two of us. And we're keeping it simple because, um, like I was saying, art and commerce. You know, if we want to go touring across the country, there's no way we could take a five piece band and, and make it pay. But it's possible we could get two guys, you know, play a house concert and, and pay our gas money. Um, but I do miss like playing with a bunch of people and making a great racket. And um, it, there's no feeling like it, like a, hitting a downbeat of a song and just having that big sound happen. Um, is fun. I think of performing like Formula One racing. It's kind of like you tinker all week long, trying to make everything as perfect as you can. But then once you get on stage, it's like you might blow a gasket. You're going to keep going. It doesn't matter. You just keep, um, it's such good energy. So I really look forward to getting to a place where we can book shows where people will come to hear us. They know what to listen for and um, hopefully hum a tune or two. And uh, to me, that's paradise. Mother's teardrops Got no place in my life I'll be listening close I can still hear the tune The blood on the highway From shooting the moon And it was over too soon Driving down some star covered Arriving at a place beyond pain Drinking a little more than I Cause I'm thinking It'll change to me good Where we melted December But we froze up in June I was out with the dust You swept up in your crew And it was over too soon Thank you.